What's it with you? Nothing, I just like a running egg to dip me soldiers in, that's all. The SES couldn't break in there. All right. Well, in future, the eggs are in the fridge, the saucepan's in the cupboard, and the water's in the flaming tap. Well, you asked. I'll give me my mouth shut the next time, shall I? Yeah, can you have that in writing? Look, I'm sorry, OK? I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have what? Shouldn't have what? Slagged off me cooking? Cos that can live with it's an occupational hazard. But bawling at little girl, you know, smashing up a computer, that's a sight harder to forgive. Yeah, and it won't happen again. No, well, it can't, Owen, cos one way or another, there's going to be no more of that in this house. I was frustrated, love. It's only because I care. I know you do. But with A's history, you've got to keep a lid on that temper. If you can't... I understand, love. I hope so. Cos... Lord knows I need it more than ever now. You still all right for minding her today? Of course. But if I can start late, I'm going to have to work over. So don't worry about me too, all right? Well, after this man's performance, I wasn't going <laughs> to... Morning, love. You OK? Hey, morning, sweetheart. What do you want for your breakfast? Um, just some toast. Are you annoying all right? How do you mean? I heard you arguing again. Are you going to split up? Don't be daft. You weren't arguing. It's just, well, I was not very much of a morning person, that's all. Not really an evening person, either. Dad! Hi, sweetheart. Have you had a good day? No. I've been bored out my brains. But we agreed six o'clock. Yeah, sorry, but I've had a bit of bad news. Mind if I join you? The uh, development I was working for went bump. I got laid off this morning. Happens, pal. I'll uh, keep my ears up, though, but it's pretty quiet around here now. Well, I've been doing some ringing around already, thanks. A mate of mine's got a labouring job for us. Brilliant. Well, it is, and it isn't. It's down south in Kent. That's miles away. Yeah, but yeah. Well, your dad's got to go where the work is, love. You can't go down there. When will I see you? Well, it's not the end of the world. I can still come back and visit you. Won't be the same. Please don't go. I'm sorry, love. Owen's right, but I've no choice. Just the, uh, the Gazette and her comic, please, nice. It's a magazine. Has some sweets as well. Your magazine costs three quid. You want, you want, you want sweets on top of that? Small price to pay for quiet life. Do you know what, Norris? I've learnt one thing, being up a daughter. You do not negotiate with terrorists. Oh, here, here. I see far too many parents in here bribing their unruly offspring with gobstoppers, literal and metaphorical. All oh, right, see, so what, you don't serve them, then? Oh, well, it... It's not for me to infringe upon the customer's prerogative. I thought so much. Hey, Norris, uh, can you sit that in your window for me, mate? Oh, yeah, it's £2.50 a week. Oh, oh. Labourer wanted business must be booming. <laughs> uh, I'll have to ring McAlpine and Tom. I'll tell them they've got competition. Well, it's you should be worried, mate. Uh, can I have uh, two weeks, please, Norris? Oh, I'm quaking my boots, but uh, before you go global, mate, do you have any idea what it's like to employ someone? Uh, yeah, giving them a bit of trust and respect for the kick-off. Sales give me the lowdown about that. Oh, but thanks for your concern. No, any time, mate, any time. It's not Dragon's Den, you know. That'll be £3.25. How is it? OK. Hey, okay, this is nice, isn't it? No stress, no arguments, just peace and harmony for a change. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Hi, Dad. You're still early, and I thought we agreed we'd meet at the house. We did. I'm meeting someone else. Anna, tea when you're ready, love. Make that too. Jason Grimshaw? That's right. You must be Tim. What's going on? I don't know. I sent Dad Jason's number. So, you're looking for a job? Yeah. I don't mind where the work is, I just want to be close to Faye. Faye? She's my daughter. So what do you reckon? Well, look, I can't guarantee anything beyond next month. But I've got a bathroom fitting down the road, and then I'm moving on to this job in Leeds. Sounds perfect. Right. OK. Well, I suppose my next question is, when can you start? Tomorrow. You're on? <laughs> nice one. Cheers. I'm making a big mistake taking him on. He's bad news. Oh, yeah, who says? It says me. Come on, Jase, do us a favour here, yeah? 
Or is this coming from the guy who called me a traitor and nearly tried to ruin my business? <laughs> well, he's only working around the corner. Oh, so much for problem solved. 